In the next circuit, we are also going to be using two push buttons to control a single green LED using Arduino for power, of course. Uh, the difference being this time, instead of wiring up the push buttons in series, we are going to wire them up in parallel and see the difference in behavior between this circuit and the last circuit. Go ahead and remove the green LED from the circuit and set it aside. We're going to be using it here in a minute. And locate a jumper in your jumper wire set. I'm going to be using one of the blue ones here. And I'm going to be using this to connect the two positive sides of the push buttons together. Now the jumper was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. So I kind of went a little bit at a diagonal and kind of bent it a little bit to keep it flat onto the breadboard. This was just a quick fix. I didn't want to have to go and find the right size jumper wire or move push buttons around to get the current wire to be the right length I needed uh, to make it look pretty, but uh, this is good enough. And so what I'm going to do is try and modify this circuit as little as possible to get the correct setup. It seemed easier to me since I already have the two middle pins of the push buttons connected together to just make that one of the connections, whether the positive or the ground, in this case the ground, and then to connect the outer two pins together and make that the positive side of the circuit. So I'm going to use the blue jumper wire to go between the very bottom push button pin on the left side to the very top push button pin on the left side, leaving the red jumper wire connecting the two middle pins. All right, so the next step is that we're going to take that green LED that we set aside and we're going to place it into our circuit. Now, since I decided to make the two inner pins of the push buttons be the ground pins, I'm going to go ahead and attach the shorter leg to ground, right? Short it to ground and the longer leg to either of the rows that has the pin in it. In this case, I did row 15. Now, something to keep in mind is that since that jumper is there between row 15 and row 13, it means that the long leg of the LED, both sides of the red jumper, the push button pin in row 15 and the push button pin in row 13 are all connected at the same point, right? There's no load across any of those connections. Now, similarly, on the other side of those switches, since I have the blue jumper wire going between row 11 and row 17, it means that one side of the resistor, both sides of the blue jumper wire, the push button pin in row 11, and the push button pin in row 17 are all connected at the same point, right? There's no load between any parts of that circuit, so all of those are connected together. And so if we follow our power from the red cable, uh, it's going to go down the rail into one side of the resistor. It's going to go over the resistor. And then it's going to power the outer pins on both push buttons. When the push buttons are pressed, connecting the circuit, it will allow current to flow through the push buttons and then into the inner pins and through the LED and then out to the ground through the black cable. So I want you to think before testing it, what's going to happen if neither of the buttons are pushed? What's going to happen if the top button is pushed only? What's going to happen if the bottom button is pushed only? And what's going to happen if both are pushed? Go ahead and pause the video if you need to and give it a quick 5-10 seconds to think about it. And then we'll go ahead and we will test it out. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and apply power to our Arduino by connecting the USB cable from the Arduino to the computer. And that's going to power the Arduino and the Arduino is going to power the circuit. Okay, so we finished building the circuit. Let's go ahead and test it. I'm going to press one button at a time, and you'll notice that the LED lights up if I'm pressing only one at a time. And if I press both at the same time, then the LED also lights up. So when I push either of the push buttons, it connects the circuit through the resistor and through the LED, thereby lighting up the green LED. Now, you have to make sure when you're dealing with parallel circuits that you're providing a load no matter which of the branches that the current goes through. 
We want to make sure that we don't accidentally allow a direct path from power to ground. And like always, when you're done with the circuit, make sure you disconnect power. Before we move on to the next video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In the next video, we'll be doing the second project in the Arduino starter kit. I'll see you then.